We are here at 2018 um, Medicine Week in Baden-Baden, and we are here at the booth. A biophysicist Dieter Josner, president of Medical Electronics. I've been working with him for many, many years. He's absolutely an amazing uh, biophysicist. So I would like to um, show you a few of uh, his uh, devices. Um, he is one of the most um, effective and most popular uh, device is the um, uh, the hyperphoton. You actually can lay down and have the whole body benefit from it. It has both photon and laser uh, together, and will it will help regenerate the cells. So let me see. If we can turn this one on again. It's so complicated. <laughs> I don't think I will do my best. Oh, okay, it's up there. Okay, <laughs> great. You just weren't tall enough. <laughs> Do you need to wear goggles with this? No, you don't have to. Eyes? No, you can you can close your eyes and you can be underneath. Mm -hmm. It actually um, it can penetrate very deep. Um, so I use it a lot in the um, in the office to help regenerate a cells, may cell metabolism because um, cells communicate with each other through light. And so uh, when you put it against your face, your body, your organ, it helps regenerate the cells. So I use it, for example, to help uh, 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 the person when they have some bone that is uh, degenerating. It helps stimulate bone growth and can take some of the pain away. I use it right on the thyroid here to help regenerate the thyroid. And it's um, uh, all right on the face to stimulate uh, uh, more collagen production. Yeah? So even though when you stand right against it, you don't feel anything, it's actually working uh, really uh, well. So to demonstrate it, we can uh, translate the, this light into sound. And you want to hear that the sound that generate, that are in harmony with the body is the sound that sound like the sun, right? So let me give you a little bit of demonstration of how how um, how far these light can reach you. So this is a light noise detector. I highly recommend everyone to have this one. I would walk around the house with this and to see what light is toxic. So here you have a photo cell and here you have an adapter and you allow speaker. It would translate any light into sound. So let me give you a little demonstration to see how far this can reach your body. See, now you're blocking it. You see that? You're blocking it. So it actually, you do benefit from the ray of this photon emitting from that far away. You still benefit from it. But that noise sounds aggressive. Oh, uh, this is actually it the. Sounds like I, it wouldn't be good for my body. This is actually the mixture of how the sound, the sun, uh, the sound, of the sun is. Oh, the it, sun. Yeah, yes. the sun is a mixture of right. a different frequency. So now you're blocking it. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, best, the best um, uh, hyperphoton light in the world. That. Um, we have. Is this a smaller version of the light here? This is a different one. A different one. Yeah, this one you see because it's a different light. Yeah. How loud is that one? That one lets you see. Now you want to hear toxic light? If you want to hear toxic light, yes. let's see. Yeah, let's, let's see that this light. That light is quite toxic. No, we cannot. We cannot get it from here. So we can walk around and see which light is toxic. It would give you a different sound. For example, let's get a neon light. The neon light, fluorescent light. Fluorescent light completely sound very different, and you know right away it's very toxic. So let's see if we can find one. This one is good. You don't hear any noise, see? No? This is different. Uh, all of these are LED. You don't have that. These are pretty good. These are pretty good. You don't hear anything. See? So this is pretty good. And if you put it under some some fluorescent light, you can hear it's it's your light. Uh, 
very, very toxic. So you can actually walk around the house and find out which light is best for you and which light is not, and be able to change the light and put in exactly the light that you the best for your body. And because this is, called... this is light noise detector. Light noise detector. Yeah, and he just got this. Um, I would say about um, I would say about seven, eight years ago. I, I own quite a few of this. Yeah. Mm useful thing to have. Yes, yes, absolutely amazing. This is something that I want to bring into the U.S. You know, everyone should have it in the house. It's not that expensive, and you'll be able to find out what's going on in your house because the light does penetrate through your skull and get and affect you, your brain frequency, and your brain frequency is a very important to have a good uh, a brain frequency. So not only that, Dieter also now has made, uh, create different devices um, uh, against the uh, 5G, because 5G is a toxic radiation. And now it's bombarding us everywhere um, in, 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 in our country. And so he has created now another device to help modulating the frequency so that the brain will go along with the correct brain frequency so that it can ignore the 5G. So for that noise that we heard off of the lasers we were okay. So that is, that, yes, that, that, is, that is a good noise. That's how the sun should sound. What, what, uh, what uh, Dieter does is that he just imitate nature. That's all he does by uh, uh, study nature and trying to recreate it. And knowing that these days in our environment we are so toxic, including the water, and so how can we start to recreate the water that looks like how it was made in nature? So he's just trying to co recopy nature and, and so that we can have the benefit like being back in We in have nature. to find a bad light because uh, we got to hear Do you want to hear that? Light. Let's we walk around. Uh, so all these lights, are, so the German are really good. I'm impressed in around here. So let's see. <laughs> Yeah, that's totally good. Yeah. I feel better now. If your, that's what your brain is hearing, that's not good because it's one same frequency and it's rigid frequency. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Whereas the sun, you can see, is a modulation of mixture. So you can see that it's rigid frequency. Mm -hmm. and, and, and technical frequency or uh, a certain frequency, it just rigid. It's the same one. And your, bo your brain perceives it the same way all the time. And that's not good because you need modulation, yeah. right? So we can hear the sun is a different mixture. Yes. So now you can, yeah, so that's what your body is hearing. Imagine children sitting in the classroom. Think of it, right? Little kids with the brain very, uh, the skull very uh, young, and they would sit nearby for all day long. That's not good for their brain, right? So even changing the light will make a difference. So this creates your water. It's not easy yeah. to get good water. So what Dieter is also trying to do in this case also recreate how water should be. And so when you spin the water, um, you also break it, not only you break it down into small particles, but it also help erase the memory that the water carry. For example, if the water sits in a plastic bottle yes. and water is a very good medium to carry information, it would absorb the information of the plastic, plastic yes. right? And so by spinning it, it helps erase the memory of that water. And we are being water and 70% uh, seven, so we carry information. So by using water that doesn't carry all the information, that's one, but it's also creating a magnetic field uh, into here, so that it would also add in um, the magnetic field, uh, or you can also put in remedy into here. For example, you put in a thyroid remedy or liver remedy, and it would transfer the information into the water, and then you need at least 20 minutes to spin it, 
and then it would last for a, for a good four hours. For example, in this environment where it's a little bit more polluted, it maybe it would last for four hours. But in an environment where it is non-toxic, uh, it could last at least, you know, 48 hours to a few days. And the water would be good to drink um, that way. So you can spin wine, right? Uh, you can spin all the liquids, but usually this is the best way to drink water. And you can leave it uh, spin all day long and you just drink it. I've and seen uh, machines that do this, that Vortis water. Mm -hmm. the other, they look like a blender or something, right? Uh -huh. It spins the water. Of course, this is much more... Yeah, they do. Uh, this is much more advanced, though, because you know, it's also adding the photon energy. Yes. And you could embed information into it through the little well there. Right. So. And these are actual photon light. And when you blend in these different color uh, uh, of light, you actually it actually creates white light. So it imitates the process of nature that the best water to drink is water is always running with sunlight it's beaming sunlight. into it. So uh, so these are just imitate the process of nature. So um, this is a, a great, wonderful device, but also it's a wonderful thing to put in the office. People got fascinated by this. Children got fascinated by this, and it's just a beautiful, yeah, a beautiful uh, little feng shui uh, mm -hmm. device to have in, in the office.